Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Heavy Rain, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, so... What are we gonna do now? Because we both know that Ethan is not the bad guy. You see, I hate the camera the angles first. in this game, bro. No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be tougher than I thought. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. Wow, at press beating the shit out of people? I expect it will be quite an event. Of course, whatever. Don't you want to wait till we actually got his confession? No point. We've got him dead to rights. That's all the press wants to know. <laughs> Ethan Mars is innocent. He truly believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? I'll play those odds. I got to get him out of here. Of course. So, in that case, what's the plan? Because they're basically conducting a witch hunt and they're about to crucify him at this point. Okay, so. Let's see if this works. Leave us alone. I, uh, Lieutenant Blake said to- Please, leave us alone. Go away! Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Okay, cool. Christ, are you all right, Ethan? Does he look like he's all right? He's he woke up from being unconscious. His pinky's missing. He's tied up like Come on, get up. I got to get out of here. I've got to save my son. Let's see what I can do. <coughs> so, what are you gonna do, buddy? Like... I'm gonna find a way to get you out of here, Ethan. Stay put. I'll be back. Man, I don't even know what to do. Damn. Okay. I gotta figure this shit out. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. Bingo. Say no more. You just... You just gave me an idea. Man, I can't wait. Let's go. And I turn off the camera too, so they can't even have any proof that I let him go. Ethan, put this on. You might be able to get by them without being noticed. Oh shit, the handcuffs. I forgot about that. Okay, hold tight. Okay, so he said that the keys are on his desk. So the question is, which desk? Because... Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh lord, please let it be an easy desk. Thank you, that's all I needed. How obvious. How obvious, really? You are not the type to be coy. 
And you know the sad part is, even though he wasn't trying to be obvious, they still didn't notice. How convenient. All right, it's time to let you go. That's it. You're free. Damn, you don't need to snatch your hand like that, rude ass. Let's go. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. Damn. I don't know what to say. Just say what you say. I hope I don't regret that. Okay, Ethan. I know where the exit is at, big boy. Just keep going straight, bro. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed. Damn, Ethan, you're a celebrity now. now. Able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Dangerous lunatic. That's not good journalistic words to describe someone. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. KFC, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Wendy's, girl, I love you already. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. The guy at the desk, though, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. That's because he's horny for you, bro. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Mm -hmm. Every I cop know. in the country will be hunting you. Yeah, I know. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? If I say yes, will your panties be wet? Say something! I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. Oh, the bodies hit the floor. Oh, the, the bodies, bodies the hit the floor. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Hmm. Why can't you tell that to the police? <laughs> and tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. Damn. Look at her. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Literally. Literally. Electrocution, the finger. Is the only thing that matters. I get that, but at the end of the day, though, you're getting yourself killed. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. Please, Madison, leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. She's not gonna leave, bro. First of all, she's in too deep. She's you feeling you. Me, leave. Damn. Leave me to do this on my own. Look at that. You broke her heart. Look at that. You crushed her dreams of trying to fix you.
Sometimes asking for help is okay, Ethan. It's okay to ask for help, bro. Ah, <sighs> man. Okay, so at this point... Let's see what's the next mission to do. Hopefully I don't fail this one. I gotta kill someone? Hey, yo, that's crazy. I gotta kill someone. Yo, he's ready to do it too. He's gonna gratata someone. But then again, anything for his kids, so it's understandable. The sounds of clocks ticking comforts me. I don't know why, but I just like hearing sounds like that. It's peaceful. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Are you Manfred? Bro? Hey. Hi there, Manfred. Hey, buddy. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh! Yeah, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Damn, it's a long time. My age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Ten well, years. This, this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Aw, you're so adorable. Thank you, bro. A celebration drink for seeing your friend. Okay. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Okay. Sure, no Bet. problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Classic phone. Classic clocks. Like, this place is hella vintage. I love it, though. Ooh, you got the scotch for me, bro? Okay. Well, to old friends. To old friends, bro. Pour it up. Let's go. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Yeah, I have it right here. Hmm. Let's have a look. Could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. It's okay, buddy. That's what happens when you're old. All right, here you go. Thanks. Well, let's see what this. Envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. Hmm, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Damn, he's a yes. history. No doubt about it. History book. The Royal Five of typewriters. I love it. 
These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. Mm. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? That's cute. Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. That's perfect, my man. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. Okay. I'll see you soon. He's so adorable. I like you this think character. The been here? Yeah. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. True. Especially since that would help pinpoint exactly who is the origami killer. I can tell she likes that. Now that sounds a little annoying. Anyways. I gotta admit though, this place would be pretty cool to chill and work. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's um... I don't know. Let me check. Maybe he has so much papers to go through. Let me just see what's going on with him. I hate these camera angles, like... Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Yo! He's... He's dead! Oh my god! He's dead. Oh. Oh my god, bro. What the hell? Hey, yo. Bro. Um, listen. He dead dead. Scott? Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We're they're gonna pinpoint it to us, Look, bro. Come on. on Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? What do we do? We get the call logs. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are gonna be here any minute. Damn. Alright, the phone. Do the phone first. Wow, he is wiping away evidence. This shit's crazy. And let me see. The counter. It's yep, yeah, let's get the counter because Gotta get rid of my fingerprints from this phone that I used. Alright, and then the scotch. The scotch needs to be wiped. This dramatic music is annoying, bro. Like, I'm just cleaning. Like... Dude, you're touching the thing while cleaning by. I'm done. I can't stand you. This game's annoying, like, bro, really? Dramatic music. Just because I'm cleaning away fingerprints. But then again, he's hella suspicious for doing that. Alright, so I know you touched something over here, right?
Oh lord, I'm done, bro. Alright, I think we... have everything. It could be much longer. The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. I think I have everything, bro. Right? Yeah, I think I have everything, bro. Okay, I think I have everything. Like, legit. Oh! Shit. This. Come on. Right here. Touch this. There you go. I knew I forgot something. Alright, let's leave. Let's go. Come on. That's it. Yep. Got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Adios. How did they so, find us? You oh wait. Was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Damn, how they find us? Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. If you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? I wiped everything. What did I miss? I wiped the phones, the magnifying glass, the drinks, even the little music box. Like, bro, what well, did I well, miss? Got Shelby. You in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old times' sake. Thank Thanks, you, bro. Carter. I owe you one. You want anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it, you Scott. Sure. The music is dumb wowed. Like, the music was so loud, I can't even think. Taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We are partners, remember? We had a deal. Okay, but, bro. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer. But you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. You're gonna be a good girl. You're gonna go home and let oh. me get on with my investigation. Oh. What the hell? Stop the fucking car! Oh shit! She's crazy! Hey yo! What are you doing? Yo! Get off, bro! You're trying to get us killed! Bro, what the hell? Hey, yo, really? Bro. And I like how she's standing in the rain. Oh, Lord. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. I can't just leave her like that. 
She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. I mean, honestly, yeah, it is pretty dumb for you to let her join the case, being that she has no experience. But I know you have a soft spot, to be honest, Scott. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Also, maybe you could have a thing Such for an idiot. I better catch up with her. Either way, Scott, just comfort her. She's literally standing there, right. bro. Yo, listen. Once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have talked to you like that. Mm -hmm. It's Good. just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Oh, look at that. Now be a good little girl and get in the car! Hey yo. This this whole scene's laughable. Okay, so I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you on the next episode.